This is the worst LEGO Star Wars set ever. It's the 4 plus ATST, and let's just say I am not its target demographic. And whilst it has a couple of good minifigs, I really don't think it's going to be the best build ever. But this one was sent to me by Zabby to review and make into a video today. So that's what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to transform this horrible set into a beautiful LEGO Star Wars Endor diorama. It should be a pretty fun one. It's going to be a good challenge. So let's get started. So whilst I'm building up that set, I'm going to quickly tell you a little bit about Zabi before we get into the actual transformation. Now Zabi are an awesome website that sells a ton of different LEGO as well as awesome cool collectibles and much much more. And you can go ahead and get a discount over on their website of 10% off when you use my discount code and the link in the description down below. So go check out Zabi, but let's get into the video. And so there is the set finished and built. There's really nothing to write home about. There's nothing special about it apart from the minifigs. They're kind of cool, but I really think we can do some pretty cool stuff with the upgrades of this. I'm going to start by grabbing these big 16 by 16 olive green plates to make a nice base. We're going to lay down a two wide pattern with four along the side and here you can see my sort of plan for where things are going to go when we do upgrade this with the minifigs and accessories from the set on the actual mock itself. But of course it's going to look a hell of a lot better than this. So now we need to grab our black bricks and plates and get building on a border. So I laid out a ring around the outside with the black plates and then filled in the center with some colorful plates because you're not going to be able to see these. These just tie everything together and make sure everything's flat and not going to wobble around. And then went all the way around the outside with the black border including this nice little Star Wars plaque in the front because it's not the most detailed black border in the world. This is where the fun begins and we start working on the paths and this is something I really wanted to include across the entire mock. We're going to just sort of lay our rough layout right now. I'm sort of working this out as I go, not really planning anything for this section, but we're going through with a load of medium nougat as well as the dark tan colored tiles and plates to make a nice rugged path for the battle to occur on. Basically wanted to keep it nice and natural as if this was a natural clearing from the foliage in the jungle that Ewoks and other animals had cleared out over the years with just repeated use. So now with the paths and everything done, we can now turn our attention to the big tree that's going to go in the center of the mock. So you can see this is the kind of technique I'm I'm going for right now obviously looks very very basic i've added a couple of slopes at the bottom for roots but this is going to be way more detailed way more tiled off and way more textured at the bottom especially basically what we've got is this small technique here i actually got this from a technique that was used by matt the brickwiz over on his channel when he was building his giant raxis moth i really love it and i've got a lot of brown plates right here so i'm going to try my best to build as big a tree as possible but basically what we have is a load of hinge bricks in the middle and then a load of snot bricks in the center yeah pretty much what we have to do is do a load of details with slopes and stuff at the bottom we're going to add in some tiles and some dark brown as well well in there to make pretty cool trees and obviously a few branches and some different leaves as we go up so with that being said let's get started on that so I had a lot of fun building this tree it was definitely a unique experience and I really did enjoy it I'm definitely going to buy more of the pieces that I used in this tree to make different trees in the future because it's definitely a fun process and I would urge any of you guys that are looking to make trees to use a similar technique because it's really good fun we have a nice different balance of tiles and plates on the outside to add a nice little bit of detail but all I basically did was repeat this process up and up as I went up the tree the main thing was getting the right distances between the different snot bricks that are holding on the plates on the outside this was really easy to do once you just sort of know a little bit of Lego math. I laid down a layer of tiles underneath so all the different roots and everything can lay flat against the ground. I am very, very low on my reddish brown tiles and plates for this mock, so I'm really glad I managed to get enough to finish off this tree because it definitely will look really good once it's finished. And just continued this circular pattern as we went up the tree and it looks really natural and nice, adding some different vines and branches and twigs sticking out as we went up the tree. With that done, I re-added these branches onto the sides and I think they look really, really nice. And we'll have a variety of these spanning up the tree as we go. But now that's everything I could get done on day one of mock building. It's time for day two and we're gonna grab every single plant piece that I have in my entire collection lay them out on the table here and we're going to get started on a bit of foliage so this is one of my favorite things to do in Lego it can be really fiddly but I think I'm sort of getting better at this process it's definitely a hard thing to do but I really do like making natural looking foliage and I think you guys are going to be pretty impressed with what I managed to get done in this mock I'm going to start by just doing this section over here by the corner I think this is going to be a good one to sort of get the nice techniques done and work out exactly what I want to do and then I can replicate it across the entire mock we have a few different trees in here and I think it looks fantastic okay well that was fun that took a while to do I actually watched the entire Tales of the Jedi show whilst building this just tiny part right here. So I'm really happy with the way it comes out. I think it looks really, really dense as if it's on Endor and I think it looks really, really nice with the foliage. And for once, it's actually really nicely tied in. Sometimes this can be a really flimsy technique, but I added a few small trees and things like that, small saplings and younger trees. I have a pumpkin over here just to add a little splash of color. But otherwise, it's pretty nice and sort of densely packed, which I really like. Hopefully, I should have enough pieces to go ahead and do all of the other sections now, which should be really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on those. We're gonna be able to replicate that over around the tree as well as over in these spaces here and then I need to start working on the leaves for the tree as well as the big tree over here. So I repeated the same foliage patterns across and under the tree. This was more tricky because I did have to sort of remove the tree a little bit at some point and so I needed to have it not too close to the tree but I wanted the tree to feel naturally integrated into the landscape so that was something I had to work on but I think it came out really nicely. We just worked our way along here underneath the tree and this did take a hell of a long time to do. I think I watched a couple of hour documentaries whilst I was actually building 
this section. So that gives you a kind of a look of how long this really does take. I kind of built up a general bush pattern with this small three stem plant piece. But these other small leaf pieces hung onto the sides, fixed on with one of these smaller one by one studs. Now this actually looks really good in my opinion and it works for quite a sturdy design for the foliage. I mixed this in with a load of other pieces including some mini trees, some bamboo and some lime green pieces to add a bit of accent colour. And I tried to mix in as many different colours of green as I could. I then went ahead and tried to work on a small design for a tree over here in the corner. This is not the finished design yet but we will be coming back and completing this. I then removed it so I could work on the foliage beneath it and this is basically just going to be a repeat of what I did before. I actually added in a small rebel trooper hiding or cowering. I don't know whether he's cowering or waiting for the right opportunity to attack over here at the back of the mark. Once I had the foliage done around the base I could then work on the tree. I just basically went for a pretty simple design joining together a load of leaf pieces as well as those sort of arched brown pieces to make the stem and trunk and I think this came together quite well overall. Okay so now after many many more hours we now have three out of four of the grass patches done as well as that tree over there and a small few of the branches here finished as well. So we've got a few things to finish off. Obviously the top of the tree, not really sure how I'm going to do that yet, but we'll come back to that. And then I do have this piece right here that I have to finish as well. Oh, and of course there's a small point of not having an ATSC in the corner here. I'll show you how I'm going to do that later, so stay tuned for that. But beforehand we're going to finish this off first, so with that being said, let's finish off that terrain. But with that looking pretty good, you may have noticed the border isn't actually complete, so I'm going to quickly run around that and completely finish that off with a layer of tiles and plates. Yeah, damn, just a layer of plate and a layer of tile makes it look so much better, but I think it's now time we turn our attention to the top of the tree and finish this bad boy off. So as you can kind of see, I was kind of apprehensive to finish this tree off. I kind of put it off to the end of the build because I really didn't know how I was going to do this, but I continued layering it up a little bit more because I think it needed a little bit more height, and I filled it in with a load more tiles and plates as I have done throughout the entire process of building up this tree. I really like the way it came together, and I think the details are really nice. However, I was running very low on pieces by the end of this tree build. I then wrapped a few more vines and leaves around the trunk, and I really like the way these add an extra splash of detail into the tree. And then it came time to fill in the top of the tree and I just basically filled it in so I could get up to the right height and then I used these big round circular wedge plates fill in the section and then just added a ton of leaves over the top. I think this day basically worked well for a flat sort of canopy for the top of the tree. And then I added in a load of those leaf pieces on top to spruce up the colour a little bit and also added in a few of those studs as well. Now with the actual mock building done, it's now time to turn my attention to the two final things that I have to do. One is upgrading the minifigs but first I have to quickly upgrade that ATSD in the corner because I can't use that horrible monstrosity over there. So what I'm going to do is basically grab this recently released Hoth ATSD set and quickly build up that set to add into the corner here. Now it's just the right height to fit under some of the branches of the trees and now we can turn our attention back to the minifig. As you can see it's pretty empty and unpopulated here. So the first thing I want to upgrade is the number of Ewoks. I have a couple of others to go alongside Wicket that we get in the set so that's going to be pretty cool. We have a nice little variety but onto the fun stuff let's upgrade some Imperials. Starting with the Scout Trooper. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap him for these ones with the arm printing right here. That looks a lot better and you can get these arms from Firestar Toys. They're absolutely fantastic and I'm going to do the same thing with the officers. Or I guess I should say ATST drivers. This guy looks much better with this arm printing and some dual molded legs. I really love this helmet and it's something I really like about these new Imperial officer figures. I'm also going to throw in some stormtroopers to spruce up the battlefield and including this incinerator trooper right here which is just fantastic again from Firestar Toys. So let's go and add these guys over to the mark. And how could I forget the rebels? And there it is, my finished Endor battle mock. We went from this pretty crappy set over here to this absolute masterpiece here, if I do say so myself. I'm insanely happy with this. The ATSD looks fantastic there alongside the big tree here. I think the tree is probably the best part of this mock. I really love the canopy and stuff like that. It can be kind of hard to finish off trees like that and do a nice top section, but I think that worked out well in the end. And it's a really, really good sized tree. I might even go ahead and use it over on my Kashyyyk mock that I'm currently working on. Let me know what you think of that. But yeah, we have some nice foliage as as well as just some nice path details and the Empire swarming in from this side ready to attack those dastardly rebels over here on the side with the Ewoks. So yeah, let me know what you think of this. Once again, thank you to Zavi for sending me this awesome set to transform into this awesome mock right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed this style of video. Let me know if you'd like to see me do this for some other sets in the future. I know we kind of included the health ACST here, but I'd love to go and do this again for loads of different Star Wars sets. So let me know if you have any ideas in the comments. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're very, very close to 40,000 subscribers right now guys hit the like button if you enjoyed and i'll see you next time goodbye